When there's little food in the house, herbs and spices can really come to your rescue. Whilst I've grown up using spices, food writer Rupa Galati thinks some cooks are intimidated by them. It's interesting, in Britain I feel people are a lot more adventurous with herbs and a little bit timid when it comes to spices. And I think it would be lovely if we could just get to know our spices a little bit more because they are key seasonings. Yeah, and seasoning and spices, yeah, I would never have put them in yeah, the same sentence. They do the same job as salt and pepper do, mm -hmm. but, you know, with a bit more gumption. Rupa has come up with a foolproof plan of how to create a perfect spice blend every time. I think quite often people are sort of mystified by the sheer variety of spices and don't know what to do with Demystify them. Demystify it, go on. Let's just... So I, all I've done is just organise them into separate categories. Right. Some spices, like cumin, are particularly nutty, whilst others might be sweet, citrusy or astringent. Astringent is... I stop short of saying bitter, but it's sort of got a nice back-of-the-palate kind of feel, so turmeric, yes. you know? I think my mum cooked has a little bit of turmeric in it, so it's something that I've got... I mean, I grew up with yellow fingers. <laughs> Other groupings include heat, like chilies and paprika, less ferocious warming spices, like black peppercorns, and sour flavours, like tamarind. So are you saying that I could pick something from each one and I could have a really good blend? You would have a really interesting blend because you would be combining characteristics. Yeah. Warmth, astringency, sweetness. I know how I'm organising my cupboards now, <laughs> definitely. Rupa's theory is that mixing any spice from each group will always create a perfect blend. Our challenge is to make two completely different spice mixes for chicken. Ooh, what am I going to do? I think... It's like pick and mix! I know! Rupa's going for a spicy marinade with ground ginger, turmeric, paprika and a squeeze of lime, topped off with some toasted nigella seeds. Let's have a look. Yes, oh, look. that's what we that's want. That's it. Oh, I love that sizzle. And already you're getting that. You can get you it. You can smell it. It's like fried eggs. It's like fried eggs. Yeah, it is a little bit like fried <laughs> that eggs. That is so bizarre. Oh, look at that. I'm experimenting with a dry spice rub using cardamom, fennel, mustard seeds, sesame seeds for a nutty flavour and Sichuan peppercorns for an extra added kick. And I'm going to toast these because that will make it taste even better. Right, let's get that in there. This is the exciting bit. I love it when they it start is. to pop. And... and you've got your whole black cardamom there. Oh, that's it. That's, that's my favourite yeah. bit. You know where they start to jump? <laughs> this is the spice version of popcorn. You just want a few little wisps of smoke. We're, We're there. getting that. Look. We're getting that. And the fragrance is there. It's intense. It's unmistakable. I would take it off. If I smash that open, yep. that's what we want. We don't want that horrible husk. We want those ah, seeds. they sticky and lovely. And it's so much easier doing it like that, isn't it? Yeah. I can really smell the fennel in There's there. There's that sweet undertone, isn't it? Yeah. What I really love is that we didn't use a recipe for this. We no. didn't know what we were going to do. And we just literally looked at those spices based on the groupings. Yeah. And picked flavours that we thought we don't... You know, they do tailorised perfumes. Well, we've got a tailorised spice <laughs> blend. <laughs> What's not to love? To really taste the difference between our two simple spice mixes, we each coat chicken breasts and fry until golden. Completely different. Totally, <laughs> totally different. Oh, that's so good. The Sichuan's numbing my mouth <laughs> just a tiny just bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. That I'm really, really pleased with that. Really fabulous. Mm. Mm. That is completely different. This just proves that you shouldn't be afraid of no. mixing spices. No. Don't go out there and get a blend when you can buy a few spices that you've never used before, stick them together and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Think of a fashion show for spices, you know? <laughs> that's you've it. Got, you've got warmth and you've got something that's a bit sassy and... Oh. So this is, this is the catwalk? This is the catwalk for spices. For spices. Okay. Sorted. Okay. Right. <laughs>